Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. So today I'm going to attempt to try and do a hologram. While doing a hologram, we'll be using a lot of the features of Affinity Photo 2. So let's get started. I pulled in this car. You can make a hologram out of anything. And I actually masked it out. I didn't want to take a lot of time and uh, selecting and masking things in this lesson. And because it's a hologram, as you can see, I didn't do a great job on the mask, but it really doesn't matter. I'll keep the original and I'm going to do Control Command J and I'll hide the original. And what I'm going to do now is shrink it down to maybe here, about that size. And I'm going to rasterize it and trim so that there's no longer a mask. So now it's just the car. Let's get a close-up. Now that we have the car, I'm going to Adjustments, HSL, and I'm going to desaturate it. So it's basically a black and white. That should have been on only the car, so I'm going to bring it onto the icon and to the right. So it's attached to the car. It's clipped to the car. Next, I'm going to go to Filter, Detect, Edges. And it did not work. And the reason it did not work is because I have to rasterize this first. So I can't have the filter on it. I'm going to right click, right click, and I'm going to say rasterize. So now it's a pixel image. With the pixel image, I can go to filter, detect edges. And I'm going to do control or command I to invert it. And the reason I'm inverting it is I want to get rid of all the white and I want to leave the outlines. So now that I have a black and white pixel layer, I can go to Filters, Colors, Erase White Paper. What that's doing right now is it doesn't look like it did anything, but this is all see-through. And I could show you that it's see-through. Let me go back a little. And what I'll do is I'll say um, Layer, New Fill Layer. We'll go up here. We'll give it a color blue just for the sake of showing you. And you'll see that right now that this is just mostly black outlines and all the blue you see here is see-through. So now I'm going to change the color and then you could decide what color at any point and change it later also. But right now I'm going to do a color overlay. So I'm going to go to effects and color overlay. I have the car selected and I think I'll change it to maybe a lime green. If I put a lime green like that and I go to say reflect, and you can go through them all. Oh, you, you can go, is glow. So there's so many ways. You pick the one you like. I think I might just do a reflect right now. So let's just close that one up now. And now that we have that, I'm going to duplicate that again. Control or Command J. And what I might do later is put a blur on the layer below it, but I haven't decided that yet. I do want the background though, the fill color in the back to be a black. So I think I'm going to change that to black. So there'll be more contrast there. Next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to put a rectangle and take that rectangle and go say from top to bottom here, change that color to a neutral gray. So just pick, choose whatever color you want, but go right to the center. That's about the right gray I'd want. And when you do that, I'm going to get a close up now. So when you do that, we're going to go to Live Filter, and I'm going to go to Half Tone. And in Half Tone, I want to change this to Line. And I want the lines, think of this as a hologram, so we're going to end up putting the lines on there later, but I want the lines to be really pretty small. Now, I don't know if YouTube is going to show these lines very well. I may have to make them a little bigger, but this is about where I'm thinking I need to be. And I don't know if it'll even show on the screen. I'm going to do Command-8, or you can go View, Zoom, Actual Size. And that would be Actual Size, and that would be the kind of lines it will have. But you may not see it on your screen as all even lines, because YouTube isn't that clear on, on the videos. And so when once I have that, I need to take that half tone. Because it has a half tone, it won't do what I want to do next. I wanted to use the Flood Fill Selection, which is right here, Flood Selection Tool, I mean. Um, so what I have to do, again, is it doesn't work with the, the uh, filter on there, so I'm going to rasterize it. Now we just have 
black and white solid lines. So what I'll do now is with this fill selection, I'm going to try and just select all the black. Make sure contiguous is off. Otherwise, it'll only select one line. So if that's off and you go to the black and you select, and it didn't select enough. Some of these might be a little bit gray. So let me, let me deselect Control Command D and raise my tolerance up higher. And now I'm going to do it one more time. Let's select, say that way. And it looks like I have them all now. So now that I have them all, I can turn that layer off. And I'm going to go to this top car. And with it selected and with all the selection there, I'm going to go to mask, which is down at the bottom. I'm going to go mask layer and just do mask. And then I'm going to deselect control command D. And you can't see much yet. I'll turn this one off, but that's what really what it looks like. So I'm going to turn this one back on. And I'm going to actually rasterize the layer below it. And do not preserve the filters, just I just wanted to rasterize the layer. And so that's really, there's just one on top of another, but this one doesn't have that mask. So if I turn this on and I lower the opacity, and maybe, I'm not sure, I might be able to glow this a little uh, with effect, not glow, um, blur it a little. So let's see how I can maybe bring up a Gaussian blur on that one. And I don't see anything happening. And I don't know why, so how about we try an outer glow and see what happens there. A big, here we go. Let's give it a big radius and intensity like that. And what I'll do is I'll turn that color to one of these greens so it has the glow, uh, so it looks like light is shining through. And I can now raise the opacity on that a little bit. And I might be able to even lighten the color slightly. So let's go here and maybe bring this color a little bit lighter. I could be, I don't know if it's doing anything. There we go. A little just change in color. Actually, maybe a little darker, just to give it that background glow. I think I'm okay there. Let's go back out. And I might want more glow on that, so let's go back again, because now we're seeing it from the outside. Let's see, a little bit more, and a little bit more intensity, I think, and maybe a little calm down. So that's good for right now. I might be able to put a, a glow or a blur on this one also, or maybe a blur on that one. Let's try the Gaussian blur on the bottom one. I didn't try that yet. Let's try that, which helps bring it out a little bit like that, and maybe bring the opacity up. There, yeah, I like that. Okay, so with Gaussian blur and the opacity up a little, it gives it a nice shine underneath. Now let's go make another rectangle. Give me a rectangle. And I'm going to try and get like under this car. And we can make that rectangle a very similar green. Go up to the top and select one of these bright greens. Let's try one of those and we'll go like that. And let's change that by going to effects again, Gaussian blur and make it really blurry. I went all the way actually, so I'm gonna bring it in We'll get rid of all the excess later. And so now remember this pixel layer with the lines in it? If we do the mask with the lines like we did up here, it will not show anything because it'll be this Gaussian blur on it. So we do have to right click and rasterize that also. I'm gonna rasterize and trim it, get rid of the effects. Just want it to be a pixel layer. So it's rasterized and trimmed. So now we're gonna to go to this where the lines were Get a close-up so you can select the black. And with that selection tool, make sure there's contiguous is off. Select one of these black things. Whoops, deselect, I missed it. I'm not on, I have to make sure I select that layer with the lines. Now do it. And then hide that layer. And let's go up here so you can see what we're doing. Well, now we're going to select that beam that we put underneath and add a mask to that and it'll be masked with the lines and then we'll deselect and that's what we end up with and now we're going to right click and rasterize and trim so now again it's just all it is right now is a pixel layer so now I'm going to go to mesh warp and start pulling all these things in so let's pull this in here 
and this in here. Whoops, undo. Grab the, only the point you want to grab. I'm going to pull these points in. Bring this down a little bit like that. Bring this down a little bit like that. Let's just say, okay, I'm going to rasterize it again. So it takes the filter off. And let's see if I give it a blur now, what will happen. Let's do Gaussian blur and go up. And it's got a little bit of a blur like that. And I think I could be, I think I'm okay with that. And now I'm going to go to my paintbrush tool. And on my brushes, I'm using a standard brush that comes with this place. I'm going under textures, the second one, this 320 head grunge pattern 2 and I'm gonna make it a little smaller here and on this layer I need to put a pixel layer on top of that so I'm adding a pixel layer I'm going to just go right down like that and down the middle and down here and if I have to get rid of some of it I will and now I'm going to go to filters motion blur and see how just something to that effect to give it a little bit of a blurred effect as part of the lighting coming out and I think that works okay I'm going to take these two which is that paintbrush and this beam and group it control command G and I think it needs more light so I'm going to try going to curves I know I'm doing a lot here folks but that's what I do I play and here we go now I'll brighten it up I kind of like the curves brightening it up like that. Let's take take everything and group it. And so everything is in one thing. I can change the size. So I'm going to take an ellipse and put an ellipse on the bottom here. So something like that. And I'm going to blur that with the effects, Gaussian blur. I just want it to be brighter. So I think I'll even brighten the color so let's do color overlay. Let's give it one of these bright, bright greens because that's where it would start off. And maybe even lighter than that, I'm going to go almost closer to a white. So let's get close up again. I'm going to turn on this car. Let's duplicate this bottom car, control or command J, and I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to put it above the black background. And I could take the, uh, the car above and just bring it down, but I'm not going to. I'm going to actually take the, this car. And I made it the same green, but I can change all the colors later. And so this car is what we're supposed to be showing up on top. And so you want that little light in the middle there. That I just made that circle to go there. I can actually make that a little bigger, that circle. And I can do a little more transparency to it. And so a little bit like that, like it's coming from the car. Let's group everything. Go to Adjustments, HSL, and let's see if we want to make a blue or if we want to do a real dark, we can change our colors. So you can decide what color you want this to be. And if you really wanted to do something even crazier, and not that everything's not crazy enough as it is, you could take this group. I'm going to do Control or Command J. But you can take it, let's get rid of the car in that group. So that's the car, delete. That's the car, delete. In this group, you can make it smaller. And maybe on an angle, something like this effect, that someone is projecting this from somewhere else. And that's how they're showing the audience. And you could put an audience behind it or whatever. But you could show that the beam is coming here and then that's all going there. And in the end, again, you could change this HSL. Let's, let's say we, we group everything here right now, which this is the whole thing now. So I can duplicate this, Control or Command J, which is making it much lighter. I like that actually. I can go here and you could say, well, that one wants a, that one's doing it in blue. So maybe this one. Let's put the HSL into this group. And then on this one, without the HSL, we're going to add an HSL to that. So let's go here, HSL, put it into that group. And let's take that and we give it a different color. So this one could be, well, 
and not only that, you can the saturation could just really jump up if you want the saturation up, because that would do that would give it more light. So you can do a blue, you can do a deep blue, you could do another one in red if you wanted to. So here, let's do one more. Um, one more group here. Oh, hold on, I don't know what I'm doing. That one's there. That one's there. So take another one. Control Command J. Move that one over here, and we can do this one in the HSL. We can change that to maybe a red or something like that. You can lower the saturation a little bit if you want, and that's it. So I hope you like this tutorial. I'm going to attempt to also try and do this on the iPad version, so look for that. And if you did like it, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.